Hi there, retro gamers and toy collectors alike. And welcome to another episode of Behind the Mask. And today uh, we noticed that it's getting a bit darker here, but don't you worry, we have still time for the Afterburners. So yes, this is Afterburner, and it's a mask dragster slash stealth jet and cannon launcher with two action figures. And the driver of this concoction of machines is called Dusty Haze. So let's get to opening up this box. And I'll try to focus a bit. So, uh, if you haven't watched the other videos, this is a bit of a review kind of thing where I review an epic haul I got at a thrift store. I got a lot of boxed mask uh, toys for a lot of little money and um, I'm reviewing them. So instead of video games, you get this kind of stuff. And I'm sure it's going to be right up your alley if you're an 80s kid or 90s kid because this was on the television back then. And it is basically Transformers meets G.I. Joe. If any mask fans really hate me for this, then so be it because I love it. Anyways, this is the Afterburner box and it also features some nice artwork. It shows where the characters or who the characters are and it shows you what's inside, albeit a very small version of it. Then we've got the product shots where we can show that we have a customized dragster that converts into a high altitude stealth jet and a maneuverable cannon launcher if you dare to call it like that anyways this one is pretty mint uh, only a few scratches up here uh, as you can see here a bit of tearing but uh, nothing to worry about at all it looks really nice and um, so here is afterburner we're gonna open up the box uh, this is one of the few boxes that actually has the inlays uh, with it as you can see here inlay it's basically cardboard it is cardboard so we're going to open that up, there you go, I also got the manual, so I'll lower this a bit so you can actually see what's happening here, uh, if this works, yeah, so we've got the manual, and we've got good old Dusty Haze hologram version, apparently, and we've got Dusty Haze, normal version, apparently. So, uh, and it's mask. But, it's always the vehicles that impressed me the most. So I'll just get rid of this inlay. Nice, nice table here. And, let's get transforming. Apparently, this is pretty simple transformation, but uh, as with mask figures, sometimes stuff flies off. Sometimes the stuff gets lost, so let's hope we don't lose anything and let's hope we don't lose an eye or anything as well So basically there should be a little lever here that uh, makes this transform um, Does it? Yeah, it kind of does um, So uh, <laughs> This is the Driving cannon launch thingy not to be confused with some weird stuff but uh, yeah it's got a button here and it shoots stuff and there you have the very impractical dragster cannon thingy I'll just leave it at that the cool stuff cool part is the dragster engine that turns into a jet that's right, it's a drone, or a jet drone, or whatever. Um, the manual says that there is a bombing mechanism. Uh, basically, you've got the bomb here. The mechanism is that you put your hand here, and flick the bomb out. Bombing mechanism. I'll, I'll show you again, and you have to make sure that you put the bomb in correctly, right? Not to upset the mechanism. So basically you've got the bomb here, you've got the airplane of course, and basically you put your hand here and just pull it like that. So that's the bombing mechanism. So this is called Afterburner, and uh, it started off with a rather slow burn. Now let's transform this back, or how you call it, mask morph it. 
and uh, make sure it does its thing again. So we've got to put this plastic back here. We'll just open up the cockpit for convenience sake. There's nothing in there actually. I thought it might be some electronics or room for weapons, uh, but uh, I'll just put the bomb back in. Just push this down. Hope it stays down. It doesn't always stay down. Um, click this in. Click this in. And you've got a dragster again. So yes, it might not be the most fun uh, mask vehicle. It really looks cool as it is um, in hot pink and blue. But uh, it looks really fast as well. But I'm not really a dragster kind of type. Uh, also forgot to put the top back in, silly me. So it looks more like a director now. But uh, yeah, I find it a bit lacking. Um, I am spoiled by some really awesome mask toys uh, that I had in the past, so uh, this one doesn't really do it for me. But uh, it is one of the more complete mask uh, toys that I've got with the inlay and everything. I think it's the completest uh, because I've got the manual here as well. Yep, manual check so um, yeah we'll just put it back in the box uh, as I said we all need closure and you basically put it in here make sure it fits then you just toss these little characters in there put the manual in there and we'll just close up the box like so yes it looks like I've studied for it but uh, no I am uh, box is real minty as well which collectors are sure to like um, but uh, there we have it afterburner I hope you enjoyed this one uh, there are still more coming up as you can see behind the afterburner box there's a lot of others but uh, this one this video was all about afterburner if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel there are bound to be more massive damage episodes but until then i will be filming these kind of things so i hope you'll like it thanks for watching and hope to see you again goodbye